So here's how I layer learn the, the waltz. And I'm going to just show the first page because it's very tricky. Um, you have this upbeat leading to a long dotted half note. So you want to think of the upbeat as going into the string, so to speak, of the piano. If we had a violin, we would really start the bow a little slower and play a vibrato, but we can't do that in the piano. So the way we devise is to enter the E a little from below a little bit. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, one, two, uh, three. I'm just doing the top voice. One, two, uh, three, uh, last time. Dotty, answer that. Dotty. Forward, yes, two, uh, three, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Answer, ta -da, ta -da. Lena, two, uh, Lisa, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, more. And uh, very long, tricky because it's very vulnerable to notes jumping out on you. Um, now what you could do is against that treble you could play fundamental basses that means the first note it's like a cello the very first beat note we're going to do the fundamental beats in the left hand so with very rich um, first notes because they are the underpinnings of the harmony. So one, uh, two, uh, three, this real rich um, underpinning in the bass. Now the next thing, this is really being a bit, a bit laborious, but it's something I do. I'm just going to do a little of this to give you the idea of what I do now. So now I do basically the soprano line and the bass line, but I need to be expressive.
softer beats, which would be one less G well, one lean less wrist motion. This layering and you get this great control over the after beats against the the treble line and knowing exactly what you're doing and how you're lifting the third beats then you put it all together and you can start doing a little rubato which means um, give and take a little bit <laughs> 